Good morning, Internet. Uh, this morning I had a, uh, a good idea. I was going to make some an infrared flashlight for my new camera here. Uh, see if that works, because it actually does not have an IR filter, which means that it will see uh, infrared light. The only problem that I might have is that it does not actually have a night vision mode. It just has low light modes, and it doesn't have a low light mode for video. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of what kind of night vision it can actually pick up, but it will detect the infrared light signal. What I did here is I just found a couple of these circle plates. You can get them at Radio Shack or wherever. They're real, real super cheap. Um, and I found these infrared LEDs, which I bought online. I think it was like 420 for a pack of 20 of them out of China. Uh, again, real cheap. So right here we got, I just soldered them in in a serial format. So we have one positive, one negative, and I can even hook this up to a direct 9 volt battery without having to uh, put a resistor because it is in serial format. And the two in the middle here are actually just red LEDs that I stole from an old broken toy. That way I can have a, a, a multiple way switch and, and go between a red spotlight flashlight and a flooded or spotlight infrared flashlight. Um, a real simple, real easy build. I didn't bother to, you know, videotape me soldering these because that's, you know, kind of boring and I didn't want to accidentally set my camera on fire. Um, so yeah, here it is. Here's the night vision. Cap this should this should work pretty well. Um, we'll see what kind of low light situation my camera can do and what it'll actually pick up. If the six doesn't work, this should work for like. Um, in, in camcorders like with the, the Sony night vision and stuff like that this will work actually really well um, I've seen other people use just five and it you know will fill a room pretty good so like the six should work really well and it's a nice compact design I can get a battery on this and and just have a, a real nice simple compact uh, flashlight that you can mount to pretty much whatever you do but because mine does not have night vision capabilities stock or well, it does. It wasn't intended for that. I also made a flood plate with 14 of them. So this one I ran in serial two, but now that I'm thinking about it, I might end up rewiring it in a uh, in a parallel or like a, a combined parallel in series. That way, I don't have to have such a high voltage, and I can just you know, it'll it'll work a little bit more efficiently. I think if I do it, if I mix it up. So anyway. Um, here we go. This is a real simple, real cheap night vision build. I, I will do some testing with the with the small one here. I'm not going to do testing with this one yet because I'm going to fix it so I can sit there. Um, so I'll do some real quick testing with this and show you what I show you what I see, and hopefully, hopefully it works out pretty good. Well, I mean, as you can tell, it wasn't the greatest, um, but it did actually work, and there was some, it was able to pick up the light, um, so I think, as opposed to messing around with the little one, I'm probably going to focus more on, on the big one here, see if I can't get a better spotlight out of it, because, I mean, that did at least work to, to a pretty good degree. I was able to see some of the random clutter on my desk and get a good spotlight on the wall uh, a few feet away, so there we go, uh, near success. Thank you for watching.